Hi everyone, in this video I am reviewing Panasonic TZ60 digital camera. This is a compact ultra zoom, it has massive 30 times optical zoom, 24 to 720 mm in 35 mm equivalent. Of course optical stabilization is built in, otherwise it would be almost impossible to get sharp images on maximum zoom. Aperture goes from 3.3 on wide angle to 6.4 on maximum zoom. This is not that great for low light shooting, but you, ca you cannot get both immense optical zoom and wide aperture and still have a camera this small. The sensor has 18 megapixels, what might be a tad too much, but today almost all cameras have higher than necessary pixel count. It is a small sensor 6x4mm and most of these sensors have image quality problems with noise and noise reduction. I am happy to report TZ60 is one of the rare exceptions. Noise is still there though, even on base ISO value, but noise reduction is better than I expected. Not all of the fine details are destroyed in images. This is especially the case when shooting in RAW format and post-processing images. I was able to get some really nice shots. Don't be mistaken, image quality is not comparable with cameras with bigger sensors like DSLR or mirrorless. But as far as compacts go, TZ60 is in a better half. Sadly, lens quality is acceptable at best. On wide angle it is sharp only in, in the center and corners never get really sharp. The more you zoom, sharpness is worse and worse and the lens has very strong chromatic aberrations. Video quality is very good. You get full HD at 50p or 60p for America frames per second. Recordings are smooth with good exposure and realistic colors. Autofocus is a bit slower in video mode. It takes between 5 and 10 seconds to focus when you zoom to maximum optical zoom. Build quality is pretty good. TC60 is covered with some sort of soft plastic that is nice to the touch. At the back there is a thumb breast which makes possible easy hold on the camera with single hand. At the bottom there is a metal tripod mount and battery and memory card compartment. Battery is charged inside the camera, you do not get external charger in the retail package. The 3 inch LCD with 920,000 dots is very detailed and with perfect viewing angles. But the thing that sets TZ60 apart from other comp competitors is electronic viewfinder. It is really small, has only 200,000 dots and suffers from RGB tearing effect, but it is really nice to have it. Using the camera is really easy. You can leave it in full automatic mode and the camera will do everything by itself, including recognition of macro mode. For the occasions you want to take control, there is a full range of shooting of manual shooting modes, and a good deal of advanced setting in the main menu. Response is really good for this camera. For example, when you take a shot, the camera will write the image to in the background and you will be able to take another shot instantly. That is not the case with many compact cameras where you need to wait for the image to be written on the card before the camera allows you to shoot another one. For almost all the settings you will have to go to main menu system, since this camera does not have a quick menu. There is a single customizable button on the back, the one labeled FN, right now I am using autofocus area on it. A very good feature on this camera is that you can, you can adjust the size of autofocus point in 4 levels. This is how the main menu looks like, you get recording options. These are the settings regarding video recording. You can use AVC HD or MP4 file format and the highest quality is full HD at 50 uh, frames per second. This camera has a built-in GPS and also Wi-Fi and this is the rest of the settings. Ok, this is basically everything I wanted to show you about the TZ60, subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching.